Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. I've got three sort of unboxings to do. Some stuff that I got for Christmas that I thought you guys might find interesting. I've actually opened some of this before just a few minutes ago to make sure they weren't damaged. But I was so excited I thought, well, let's throw together a video. Almost cut the bag. Why well, cut the bag? So, 9mm Glock magazine and a Glock 22 conversion barrel, taking it down from 40mm to 9mm. I'll do a more thorough review on this later, but look how thick that barrel is. So in order for that to feed reliably, I got a pinned magazine. So, we'll move on. I had to open this one already. I was too excited not to. But we'll just play along. So, I got a new barrel for my 1911. It came with a barrel link and a barrel pin and a bushing. That replaces this barrel which I was a doe head and shot a squib shot over top of squib and blew the barrel. I'll do a quick video on this later on as well just replacing the barrel and making sure the fit and finish is all is all fine but that's for the uh, 1911 R1 from Remington. For those Canadians out there that are looking for parts for 1911s, or pardon me, for those Canadians out there looking for parts for Remington's, I went through the Gravel, or Gravel Agency in Quebec and they were first class. I got a lot of feedback from other people that said that that would be horrible to go through and they wouldn't give me any service and I think they were just, I don't know, I got great service. I think it's the English French thing kind of played into that. Great people, actually. This parcel came from Quebec as well. And this one I'm going to be a little more careful opening. Actually, I'll put this away later and get that installed as soon as I can. I have the top hand guards for a Lee Enfield for number four Mark One. I have a number four Mark One slash Mark Two, and I have a new four stock coming. The I have a sporterized version, so that is going to be my winter project. But I got a hold of these for a decent price, and they're in really good shape. And I have a four stock coming in from the states. So that will be one of my projects, along with some hardware. And then I just purchased a Glock 22, so I'll do a video on that later. Uh, but what I wanted was the capability of shooting 40 and shooting 9. So getting the extra magazine was kind of important to me because it's going to shoot reliably at 9mm, one magazine at a time. And then I got a couple mags for the 40mm barrel as well. And this goes in my baby. 
when I run me to an R1. And now that should return it back to uh, shooting like it was when it came out of the factory. It was really accurate, but then I put the replacement 1911 barrel in it. It did uh, have a little bit less accuracy, so I'm really excited to get that into the firearm. Anyway, I hope your Christmas is as good as mine. Merry Christmas. Everybody, Happy New Year. See you in 2013, no matter what the Mayans say.